city It's been so long since we've been gone I used to make you laugh Hey everybody, welcome um, to Real Talk with Devin Will uh, Good morning I trust that everyone is doing good I say everybody's I'm doing well. I'm my coffee. Did you bring me my coffee? It was sitting on the table. Never mind. I didn't know. I was running late. You know I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> it was all I could do to think about my coffee. <laughs> I apologize. I think I make you laugh more now than you make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, probably. That is probably true. I trust that you are well this glorious morning, and it, it is it is another fantastic morning here in West Central Florida. Uh, it is, I don't know, about 72 degrees or so, the computer says. There's a little breeze going on, the sun is shining. It's kind of fresh out because yes. it rained this weekend, which is nice to get some of the pollen out of the air. The birds are chirping, the, the squirrels are running. The hood rats are every, I mean the, the squirrels, not the, squirrels. not the hood rats, but there are another kind of hood rats. But, I don't, I don't see none of them yet. Uh, they're not up. They have late up. night. Late night. Yeah, the rats have late night, so we don't we don't know where they are. All right. Anyway, uh, we trust that you had a great weekend. And um, oh, we're twinsing. And we're twinsing today. This wasn't planned. It just happened. Sometimes things just happen. Um, so we hope that you had a great weekend and you're ready to uh, to approach the week with fun and vigor and excitement. Yay, go week. Go week. <laughs> uh, so what we plan on, on 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 talking about today, which you probably already seen in the show notes, is the importance of laughter in relationships. That is so incredibly important. You know, it's, it, it's funny. I was thinking uh, the other day uh, when people are dating or whatever, and and someone says, "Well, how do you like how do you like that person? Especially how do you like that guy?" And and the girl almost all the time goes, "Well, he makes me laugh." So I guess that's important. It is important. You know, I guess that's important. Because, you know, a, a lot of times, to be frank, you have to overcome a bunch of other stuff if you're, if you're, if you're a regular guy who's not an athlete, who's not 6'4", and can talk basketball. Uh, you got to do something. I'll play football. You got to be funny, <laughs> or you got to be super smart or rich. Uh, and sometimes all we have is funny. That's all we got. That's the only quiver. That's the only arrow in your quiver. At least I can be humorous. Uh, I think that that's, you know, that's been my... You, you think that's why Kim Kardashian is dating <laughs> Keith Davis? I don't know. I don't Because I don't think the dude is especially funny. Uh, uh, I, th I, I think he's... And he's not attractive. I think he, I, he must have some so money. So what is it? He must have a little, he must have a little he money. He don't have more than Kim. Well, he must have a little money put aside. He all that time will try not laugh, but... Yeah. Yeah. You don't have as much as she does, yeah. so you know what is the deal? There? I don't know. I, don't I guess know. she said she married for money with Kanye, so she better marry for humor. <laughs> I'm married for humor. <laughs> Didn't do Jada Pinkett any good. <laughs> she married one of the funniest dudes on the planet. <laughs> and then they had him go up slapping people. <laughs> Just completely humorless. Anyway, but uh, I, I I think it's incredibly funny, I, 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 important. Celebrity marriage is a joke. hilarious. It's, it just it, it's it's funny in itself. It's hilarious because none of it's real, obviously. Uh, but the importance of the importance of of, of humor um, in you know in, in relationships is in, is is incredibly important. Um, it's one of those things that's going to get you through. Uh, the, the time I know, I know, I know, I know. You're the one that don't take notes. Now I'm the one that don't take notes. And you. But I have the notes here on the screen, so we can look at them at the same time, because that's how I do. Uh, I didn't just marry him for humor. Because I have this life view that if you can't make, you can't have fun, you just make fun of it. Because <laughs> that's the tone. Because seriously, sometimes that's the only choice you got. The only choice you got. That's it. All right. So <clears throat> we're gonna hit a couple of these points. There are five of them, and I, I, we don't have time to go through all five. But we'll hit a couple of them that are, that I think are I found that are important. Laughter uh, fosters a sense of playfulness 
and shared abandon. Have you seen couples who've been married for a while um, and they've been married maybe 10 or 15 years or so and they've got the children, they've got the house and the cars and the, you know, and, and they go on a vacation and the whole deal. But you see them so, show up somewhere and they look like mom, pa, kettle. It's not, neither of them have broken a smile in 10 years. <laughs> Because they're so involved in it, living and taking care of this family and doing all the things that we think we are supposed to enjoy. <laughs> and they find out that there's not, I mean, there isn't, the, enjoyment. There, there, there isn't the enjoyment in it uh, because they've left out, I think, a, a, a key uh, component. Um, oh, we've got, we got, we got tree rats uh, living there. In the balcony over there, <laughs> the cheap seats. You know, you could have bought an orchestra seat down here. Cheap. Um, and, and some of the notes I found: children are unencumbered by adult restrictions, maturity, demands, and are naturally playful and laugh all the time. And a lot of times, at the most what we consider the most inappropriate times, they laugh. This energy is contagious. You've seen groups of kids that, that somebody starts laughing and then everybody starts laughing. They don't even know what the heck they're laughing at. And the one in the back has no idea what's going on. But <laughs> he's, he's laughing too because everybody else is laughing. Because everybody else unfortunately, is this, Unfortunately, this spontaneous energy is often uh, forced underground as we age because we have to be more mature. You see, we have to be more um, You know, and uh, we seem to lose our connection with this vitality. When you uh, when you and your partner laugh together, you tap into that that same energy pool and recapture a special liveliness of childhood. That's why it feels good to laugh. That's why it feels good to laugh. Um, it, it it reduces endorphins. Uh, it really it, it, and we talk about stress and all that stuff. And you think about people. Some there are some people who have have a, a nervous laughter. Yeah, then when they're doing, when they have to do something like speaking, like or, Anthony, or on, be in front of somebody, like Anthony on um, what's that show? Uh, that's in Atlanta with the with, with the obnoxious women. What, what was that show? Anthony was the guy who was the, the criminal. I mean, the, the, the guy who was in jail. Y'all remember that show? Um, had, had Georgia as a theme. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, designing women. <laughs> yes, designing women. That's taking it back. That's he used to laugh funny <laughs> when he was nervous. He would get this chittery laugh and stuff. But like Willie said, that feels good. So you go to a, a area that's comfortable for you, and and if you can laugh together, then you're comfortable together. Yeah, that's really that's really very very important. Um, and I think that, and, and, and another point, laughter brings a, 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 a greater perspective. It sort of gives you the 30,000 foot view of, of, of a situation a lot of times. Uh, because when you're, because you, when you're in a situation and it's just wrapped around your head and your throat and your neck and your nuts and it's just, hey, <laughs> it's hard. You're in a situation, it's hard to think. It's hard to think, it's, you know, it's hard to find anything uh, how important this particular thing is because everything when you're like that seems life or death. Well, you find out that most things are. <laughs> you find out that, that, that there is struggle and there are things that are hard mm -hmm. uh, and there are things that may even be trans transformative in your life, but most, thing, most things aren't life or death. They're not. They're just not. <laughs> I saw here it, it said about that you say something during an argument and, <laughs> and it's so profound and abusive that you have to look at each other you and know, laugh. That, who the hell was that? <laughs> you think it? <laughs> because, and, and, and it's because we get wrapped up, we, we get so wrapped up in it. And we in get, the pressure. And the, and the feeling of, I gotta top him. I gotta do this. I gotta say that. Because he's hurting me, so I gotta hurt him. And then and, and you say, and you're arguing back and forth, and then you start saying stuff, and it's like, what? Why are you breathing? <laughs> Chew like that. Why do you chew like that? Goodness. <laughs> what? 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 What are, what are? what are you talking about? Yeah. So, 
again, uh, it, it, it gives you that 30,000 uh, foot view of a situation that, and a lot of times, you know, in, in, in relationships, especially in marriage relationships, is incredibly important to gain perspective on, on where you are and what's going on at the time. Um, but I think, um, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down to this one. I think because this one is, I think this one is the most important. Um, there is, you know, there is a thing called stress. It's real. Mm-hmm. I know I don't act like it all the time. Which makes me angry. <laughs> when we're in a situation or we're trying to think of something to do and we and the pressure's on and everything like that. And I'm I'm hyper about things. I get all it, you know, worked up about it and, and I want to make a decision. We gotta do this and blah 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 and uh, and he sits like this. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Let's deal with. It. All right. Yes. 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 Um, but laughter can act as a buffer to that stress, and it's the stress that sometimes causes the cracks in relationships that don't need to be there. So if you can, you can find a way. Again, I'm back to how I live life. We can make, we can have fun, or we can make fun of it, um, and because sometimes that's your only choice. It's, I, I am of the mind that's your only choice. What else are you going to do? When you get to the point to where you can't laugh at yourself and 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 know that you're you're not all that and you don't know it all, then that's pretty sad. When somebody can, can somebody makes a joke about something and then you have to find well, you're not being serious about this. You're just blah 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 <laughs> and uh, you know. You you gotta get control of yourself and think about it. You know. Yeah, get a grip, y'all. Get a grip. Get a grip. When I was sick a few years ago, um, I don't know. I don't know if a lot of people think this is funny, but I think it's. I still think. I still still think it's funny. When they were extubating me, the first time, I was kind of freaked out. I've been I've been in a coma for you know for a couple of days. Uh, I know that sounds really like just going to be a sad story. It really isn't, but I'm because I'm here, so it's not a sad story. Uh, and they're trying to take the tube out. I don't know what the hell was up. I fought them people like I was. <laughs> I fought the people like I was Batman. I did. I did. I was sweating, <laughs> and 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 the nurse had to go stop, 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 stop. They put some happy juice in my pick line and came back later. But I, I don't know when I, when I think about that time. I I get I think it's funny as heck because <laughs> because they must be like what the he hell tore up that room. The people have been thinking what the hell is wrong with this guy? And I just like <laughs> I, I think about because it because most people want to get it that thing out of them as quick as possible and behave, <laughs> but not him. I, I did not behave at all, not even a little bit. Uh, I don't know when I think about it. I think it's I get, I always get tickled by it. <laughs> I get I get tickled by it. I really do. I think it's hysterical. Um, but you know, it, it's one of those things that could have been this extremely stra- stressful kind of thing. You know, I'm coming out of this coma, and I still have days to go before I get out of there, and the surgery and all this stuff. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. When the doctors, you would have thought he'd want it out so he could do this talk. <laughs> you know, but if, but I, it did come out a little, a little later that day, and I have not stopped talking since. Uh, when the doctor came in and said, uh, "We're going to schedule your surgery for, for Thursday," which is a good day because Wednesday is not my big drinking night. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. My pastor and his wife and and their daughter were in the room. They didn't laugh at all. I thought it was the funniest thing that I had heard all. all, all, all. Because I think because of the trauma that we, you and I had been through. I uh, mean, we were ready for something to laugh about. We needed and, something, and, and the surgeon knew that. The surgeon knew that, <laughs> so terrible. he was joking. And we had we had met him and knew him, you know, and stuff like that. And so we knew his sense of humor. Oh, he funny. had a good bedside manner, but. <laughs> My it poor was. pastor and his wife, they were like, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I thought it was hysterical. But it's one of those things where, okay, so we, you, we're going to have heart surgery, and it could be a really stressful situation, and, 
and really scary and all that stuff. But right then, we needed laughter to be the release valve. And a lot of time, laughter is that release valve. Uh, and I think it's the, um, you know, I think it's good for you. I think it's good for, I think it's good for the body. I think it's good for the mind. I think it's good for the soul. I think it's good for the spirit. Um, well, we've heard people say over the years that it takes more muscles to frown. That's a hard thing to do, to pull your muscle up. And be grumpy. All the time. And then have the stress factor on you, on your body, the pressure on your body and stuff, that the smiling is so much easier. And laughter is so much easier and so much on your you. body. And so much better for you. So. You've heard those stories about... I heard a story about this person that was dying with cancer in the hospital and they back then they had the the video they brought videotapes in of I Love Lucy and they laughed and laughed and doing their treatments they laughed until they were cured <laughs> because of laughter. Because it's so good for you it's so good for your body. It's so good for your body. It's good for your hormone. It's good for you. And and be able to laugh with your with with your life partner. Uh, and share that is a it, it really increases the bond that you have it really does because during that moment you're vulnerable uh, and you can be vulnerable with your with your spouse that's the best position you can be that's the best position that you can be in now I know that some of you go well you know well my husband isn't necessarily funny he ain't like you he's not funny and then that that's not an excuse. Then you be the funny one. It's not an excuse. <laughs> um, when, I think we kind of take turns now. It, 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 it's, it's because a I have gained, over these years, I have gained his weird sense of humor and sarcasm. I don't think it's very It can be to some people. <laughs> I don't think it's very It can be to some people. I just look at life and go, that's stupid. And, and... I have, it has kind of like got on, you know, brushed off on me and I find things very humorous in, in the meetings at work and stuff. Now I'm the person that brings up the most funniest thing and I'll make, you know, I'm the icebreaker usually in the room that never happened years ago. I was not that person. We have a funny family and you know, my kid is a lot like me in the sense that he looks at things. And find and and and, and, uh, and it's easy to find. Oh yeah, like going here, like a snake or something down here. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, easy to find the silliness in a situation, uh, and I think that that's very very important. That even in you know what in your relationship to find be able to look through the stress and find the silliness in a situation uh, and the humor in something because, and some of you will go, not everything's funny. You're right. But a lot of things are. <laughs> a lot of things. There is that thread of ridiculousness in situations um, that act as a release valve. Yeah, and then that'll rub, rub off. Uh, one, one of the suggestions is run a funny movie, watch a funny television show. Uh, you know that that kind of stuff. Enjoy. Watch some funny YouTube. Some funny YouTube stuff. I mean, I mean, there's a Shooter. lot of that stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, Shula is, you guys are watching Shula, Shula is hysterical, uh, for, for a guy who's a funeral director, he's freaking hysterical, because he has a way of looking at things, like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen, and, um, and to have a job as a funeral director and have a sense of humor, yeah, that's, that's super, that says a lot, that's super important, um, because that's really funny, um, share the funny things that happen at work, uh, you know, because, I work at a theme park. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Most days you're like, huh? What? How did you get there? Are you serious? <laughs> did you drive here? Did you drive yourself here today? <laughs> so that's, you know, again, because laughter will, you know, prayer and laughter will keep you together. Yes. Prayer and laughter will keep you together. I think that that's really those things are are are, are super. What? Which one? Oh, so you like my little my little my, my yes. little thing? So you like that? <laughs> See, I have a little. Go up, go. Most importantly, that one. Mm -hmm.
work on creating a lighthearted mindset that will invite laughter into your marriage. But you have fun or make fun of it. And this, and and I know we we our show is about marriages, but also in relationships. Period. Because as I was saying in the work meetings and different things like that, I tend to now be the the jokester and, and stuff. But you can bring it into all sorts of your 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 work environment because work can sometimes really be stressful depending on what you do. As he was saying about Bush Gardens, um, it can you know somebody can be rawr, rawr, down your throat, mm -hmm. but um, but you know you can find some humor in in the fact that they are that way. Don't let them see you oh, laughing. No. But. Um, but you sometimes the, you gotta get a relief. One of the one of the advantages of wearing masks. <laughs> yeah, people didn't see people you laughing see, at them. People couldn't see your expression. <laughs> and I, I mean, you're like, ha, ha, ha. And you know, that's just terrible. I don't know what. Oh yeah, I understand. That's awful. And you were laughing. Uh, yeah, that was you know that was interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, it was that was. That was probably one of the one of the best benefits. They couldn't. They really couldn't see your expression. But that can work in your marital relationship, your work relationship, family. You know, when you're getting together with for family events and stuff like that. That's where he comes in good. When we get when my whole family gets together and stuff like that, we because we can tend to, you know, find it when politics comes up. We can tend to find way to find way humor in the issue instead of you know being so serious all the time about it. Um, you know friendships with family, then your your best friends and stuff. Um, I think that's why you have had relationship with your friends from college for 30, 40 years now because we laugh a lot. They we make get, fun of each we, other. We get together and we laugh a lot. Um, <laughs> we just do, uh, and 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 we know where all the bodies are buried, and um, we and, and we know each other so well that we know what buttons to press. We know what we think is funny, and we look at life a lot, a lot the same. So you know, my friends, we get together and we laugh a lot. Something fun is going to happen here. Always, yeah, probably. <laughs> Um, we laugh a lot, and, uh, I think, and, and I think you're right. I think that's why, you know, I've, I, you know, I have friends from college that I've known for 40 years. For 40 years. Um, longer than I've known, I, you know, one, one guy longer than I've known any other adult other than a family member. Longer than me. Yeah. And we're still, and, and we're all still, and we're still close. Like, he, you know, he's one of those guys that if you don't, that we don't see each other for two months or three months. And then we have breakfast. It's like we saw each other yesterday never, afternoon. Yeah, never uh, left. So <laughs> it's a, so that's a good. So again, and, and, and Debbie's right when we start talking about laughter, uh, not just in the marriage relationship, but in all your relationships, uh, because it it will do it will create a positive bond. It will create a positive bond, uh, and for a lot of the same reasons, because you know you're you're a bit vulnerable in that situation where, when you find something that'll make you laugh. Uh, it kind of shows a little bit of a lot of bit of who you are. Mm -hmm. So if you laugh at that thing, that pretty much places you in that place as a human being. And people don't want to be, you know, they don't want to be pegged somewhere. They don't, they don't want anybody to think poorly of them. So you, there are certain things that, are, that you shouldn't laugh at. That's not funny. Well, that's not funny. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> it's not good, but it's funny as hell. Yeah, it, it was terrible, but it was but it was funny. Um, yeah, and, and I think that and I think that this is the first thing we talk about. It's one of those things that, um, as an adult, we're not supposed to do, and we sort of back off. Like kids will laugh at anything. Mm -hmm. Kids will laugh at anything. That's why TikTok is so funny. It's so popular because the kids love it. They'll laugh. I mean, there's so many things. That they'll are laugh at anything, and you know you're watching. Well, that's stupid. Yeah, it may be stupid, but if somebody finds it funny, it gets a million views. It gets a million views, and, <laughs> and they can pay for college. Alrighty. Well, looks like um, by the clock on the wall, we don't have a clock on this wall. <laughs> Do we put a clock on here?
So everybody passing by to see what time it is? Yeah. Yeah. So y'all, yeah. any of y'all got a clock on the outside of y'all house? I'm the clock person. Yeah, I know. I'll find one. I know. <laughs> Does anybody here have a clock on the outside of their house? I have seen it before. Not on the back, not on the back near the pool with one of the thermometer. I mean, like on the outside of your house. Like big clock right here. When people walking by, like, going, oh, what? <laughs> I think we should. That's, you know I'm the clock person. I'll find one. That's weird as hell. I have this weird obsession with clocks. Yeah, we've got about 45 clocks in the front room. Digital, big clocks, little clocks, watches. Alarm clocks, <laughs> computers, phones. I'm a clock person. Oh, we always know what time it is. And I think it's time to go. Yes. All right, it kids. It is that time of day. Got to get ready for work. Yeah, I got to go do more of this stuff here. And bit. get more coffee. All right, my coffee's in there. It's probably... It's, you know, it'll be different if it got ice cold. That'd be different, but it doesn't. It gets sort of... Uh, put me in the microwave. We'll do all right, folks. Well, thank you ever so much for uh, thank you all for joining for, us for spending some time. Coffee this morning. Um, listen, um, you can view this video on YouTube and on Rumble. We have a channel. We have a channel on Rumble. Rumble. R U M B L E. Are you com. ready to? Are you ready to rumble? Yes. What? <laughs> I can be loud. We outside. We are outside, and I was people using, should be up, and but I not everybody. And I was up. using my outside voice. <laughs> <laughs> and I was using my outside voice, but that's the deal, you know. So, so again, on Rumble, on on the Real Talk with Devil channel, on Rumble and on YouTube, and uh, here on on the, the, the on, on the Facebook and on the Real, Real Talk with Devin Will uh, Facebook page, and uh, and and I understand there was some trouble with the audio early. Uh, we're going to replace the video, so you'll, you'll be able to hear the whole thing. It'll be just fine. Life will be good. All right, so we need to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So we see you again. Go out there and love, learn something, love somebody. And for goodness sake, take care of yourself. Yes. Remember this and never forget. We love we you. We love you and, and there's, there's nothing, nothing you can, you do, can about do about it. it. Peace. Peace.